the scariest thing you can do is to look at budget-friendly apartments in an expensive part of Manhattan. If location doesn't matter to you, this is not gonna end well, as you're about to see, because in this video, we're gonna look at the three cheapest places available in the East Village, starting with a one-bedroom that's $13.75 per month. If location matters to you, you're probably gonna like one of these, but again, if it doesn't, you've been warned. Cool thing about today's tour is that all three of these apartments are right near each other. In fact, they're all between 1st Avenue and 2nd Avenue. The first one's on 14th Street, and the next two are on 9th Street and 10th Street. So everything is within like a five minute walk, and these are just a pure location sell. These are all about the neighborhood. This neighborhood is full of cafes and shops and tons of fun things to do. We're by Union Square where there's tons of transportation and we're by several local colleges. We're by NYU, we're by Cardozo, we're by the new school. This whole neighborhood just has this young wild vibe that is kind of hard to find anywhere else in town and it is an absolute blast. Anyways, first up, we've got the one bedroom apartment for 1375 on 14th Street. So let's go take a look at it. Here we are at the building right here. And it looks like downstairs, we've got a little smoke shop. And across the street, we've got artichoke pizza. The pizza here is amazing. You definitely need to try it if you visit the city anytime soon. The building is old, but it's clean and the garbage is kept outside. And actually it's good that the garbage is kept outside because the apartment is right here on the first floor. Now, right after you walk in, there is a small closet right here, which looks like it makes a nice little coat closet. And that's good because there's not a lot of space in the apartment itself. The living room and the kitchen are kind of right here in the same room. Now this room is 12 feet, two inches by 10 feet, seven inches. But since the kitchen takes up part of this area, you're gonna have to be very deliberate with where you put things. Over here by this window is where the cable wire comes into the apartment. And since your entertainment center is probably gonna be in this corner over here, you're gonna wanna put your couch and your seating against this wall right here which leads towards the front door. There is a nice window here which is good but this view it's not really that impressive. We're just kind of looking out at the fire escape and at a brick wall here but at least it's quiet which is a good thing. And what's also a good thing is that the kitchen here is halfway decent. We've got a medium-sized fridge which looks like it's in fairly decent shape. We've got a four burner stove which isn't new but is clean. And even though there's not really any counter space, there is plenty of cabinet space. Now the bedroom is kind of the same as the living room when you consider the view, because the window faces the same direction, but it does have a big closet, which is the second of which we have in the apartment. So overall, I think storage space here is okay. And the room itself is okay. It's eight feet, 10 inches by eight feet, six inches which means you could get a queen size bed in here if that's what you wanted. However, the bathroom in here is, I think the area which you're gonna have to really get used to because things in here are kind of tight. The tub is right here by the front door, but look at the space over here by where the sink is. If I turn sideways like this, I'm touching the wall, but at least the sink is a decent size and this mirror, <laughs> does turn into a medicine cabinet. So there's some storage here behind the mirror and there's two windows in here, which makes it really easy to air this place out after you take a shh. Should we see the apartment on 9th Street next? It's right down the street there, just past the Veselka Diner. Let's take a look at this one, but keep in mind that being on a nice tree-lined street like this one is something that comes at a premium. This place is a lot sunnier than the one that we just looked at. Just look at how much light is pouring into the bedroom right there. And overall, it feels a lot bigger. 
Now the front door is right here connected to the living room and the kitchen, which again are in the same room. No coat closet by the door, but you've got one right here, which seems halfway decent. Mm, maybe it's a little small, you guys let me know. But what's not a little small is the common space here. It's 15 feet, four inches by 10 feet, four inches. And yes, having the kitchen in this room does limit what you can do. But from where I'm standing, you could put a couch and then right across from it in this corner, you could plug in the entertainment center and everything. And right here by the front door, you could probably put a two person table and have a little spot to sit and eat right across from where the kitchen is. That being said, I am not a fan of these metal cabinets. I just don't like these. They're kind of a little bit rusty, not my favorite. But overall, this is definitely a bigger kitchen than the one we just looked at. And what's definitely way better is the bedroom. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This room is super bright. It's got two large windows and it's got a nice quiet view facing the back of the building. And the space that we've got here is excellent. 11 feet by 10 feet, eight inches. You could definitely get a queen bed in here and probably even a dresser and a desk. And it looks like the bathroom here is also better. Not only do we have a full size bath and a medicine cabinet, but everything is just super easy to reach. And I don't feel like I'm gonna bump into anything on my way in or out of this bathroom. Now we're gonna head over to 10th Street, just one block north and check out something a little bit different. And here we are on 10th Street. Now, if you don't like Ukrainian food, which would be weird because Veselka is amazing, here is Rai Rai Ken, which is an awesome ramen spot right by the building here on 10th Street. All right, now out of the three buildings, this one definitely has the most unique style. Just look at that pattern on the floor. And I also fear out of the three apartments that this one is gonna require us to walk up the most flights of stairs. This isn't gonna be fun. Oh, all right, here we are getting up to the sixth floor, but check out that cool stained glass right there. That's kind of neat. If you're liking this video, give it a like. YouTube cares about that stuff. Not the biggest of the three places, but I think it might be the sunniest because there's light here in the living room and the bedroom looks about as bright as the one we were just in. But anyways, the space we've got here is 11 feet, nine inches by 10 feet, eight inches. And what's great is you could put your couch or your entertainment center on either of these walls. For example, you could have your couch here in this corner next to where the window is, and across from that you could put the entertainment center, and then you'd have a clear path directly through the apartment. The only thing I'm not crazy about here is these bars on this window. I don't think anyone would be able to get in these windows at all, and removing these bars would mean that you could easily get an AC in here for the summer. But it looks like the apartment comes with a rather large air conditioner right here in the bedroom window. So you may not need to go and put one in that living room window after all. This bedroom might be closer in size to that of the first apartment, eight feet, 11 inches by nine feet. But out of all three bedrooms, this one definitely has the best closet space. Now, because the closet is here, it means that your bed is gonna have to go over here against this wall, because if you don't put your bed here, it might be kind of tricky to get out the door. But the two best features of this apartment are the renovated kitchen and bathroom, at least compared to what we just looked at. This kitchen's got a medium sized fridge as well, but the stove and the countertop here definitely look way newer than they were in the other apartment. If I had to pick any apartment here just based on the kitchen alone, it would definitely be this one. And the same kind of goes for the bathroom. I think the bathroom here is definitely this apartment's best feature. We've got a medicine cabinet, that's good. And this window actually lets in some natural light, which is new out of these apartments. That would make it pretty easy to get ready in here. There's a lot of light just kind of coming in and hitting me in the face right now. And uh, there's also some vanity lights up here. So between those things and the fact that this has a full size bathtub, even though it's a little on the small side, I think this is the best bathroom as well. If you had to pick one of these three apartments, which one would it be? Let me know down in the comments. And if you wanna see some more apartments right now, check out one of these apartment tours right here. And I will see you in the next video.